everyone and welcome to Vida Day 20. So for this video I'm going to be going through a few reading hacks that I've picked up over my life as a reader and I'm going to go through them with you hoping that they can help you a little bit with some things that you may be struggling with and yeah let's try and do this. So I have made up eight hacks probably aren't my original idea but I've discovered them on my own so I thought that I would share them with you and hopefully you can get something out of this. The first hack is these thumb book holder things I have. I don't have any with me at the minute but I will try and flash up a little picture for you. These are basically things that you put on your thumb and you hold your book and it allows you to hold your book open with one hand because there are two little stick things that stick out and it holds the pages open however I will say this can sometimes crack the spine so you have to be a little bit careful unless you don't mind that it holds the book open and you manage to hold your book in one hand if you are busy doing something else or maybe you're in the bath or something it's really helpful I find anyway the second hack I have that again I don't have with me is a reading light I have the type that you click onto your book I also have this one that has a plastic panel and there are LED lights flashing it up and it lights the panel up and you sit it on your page. The only problem with that one is that every time you need to turn your page you do need to take it off and then turn it but I don't find that as a problem for me personally and it also like holds your page down so you can like it's great. It's help you read in the dark without having to hold a torch and reading lights in general are great because especially if you share a room with someone you're not going to bother them with the light on if you want your window open there are also no chances of moths the third hack i have is youtube for audiobooks now this isn't always set in stone you're not always going to be able to find your audiobook on youtube but if you don't have the money to get an audible account or you just genuinely don't have the money to keep buying audiobooks then youtube is the place to go literally type in the title of your book and then typing audiobook afterwards and a lot of the time they are there now they're not there for a long period of time but you can also download them i find they really do come in handy when i need to read a book quickly now if you're unsure whether it's the full size audiobook whether it's the full length audiobook then you can also go on to audible and check the length a lot of the time the uploads to youtube are from audible i would recommend just having a quick search before buying the audiobook because you can get it for free if you need to. The fourth one is kind of linked to the last one and that is listen to the audiobook whilst you're reading. You'll find that you read a lot faster especially if you double speed the audiobook like I do. It helps you follow along with the book more, it gives you more concentration and you won't get distracted by things around you because the only thing you can hear is what you are also reading and I find this helps me get through books a lot faster if I need to read faster and I genuinely like hearing it read to me because it gives the illusion of group reading. The fifth one I have is make a TV jar. Actually go get an old coffee jar or something from your house. I know my family personally collects them for some reason like they'll take the labels off and keep the jars for like money jars and stuff like that so I'm pretty sure you'll have one of these lying around. If not then just wait until someone uses up the coffee jar or go buy a mason jar. Write every book down that you haven't read that you own or hold it up and put it in this jar and then when you're struggling to find something to read just pull one out and then read that. The sixth one is Goodreads. This isn't really a hack but it really does help keep track of your reading and what you've read and what Goodreads is a great thing and if you don't have Goodreads then you need to go make one because it's on point. The seventh hack is BookBub. Now not many people tend to know about this but if you want to get free books you can go on BookBub and they give you a whole list, they update every week, they give you emails to let you know when books that you like are have become free. This is ebooks, I've got to say now, physical books. BookBub is a website, I will leave it linked down below and it's a great place for you to just check out what's free at the minute and download them. There are so many good books, a lot of books I read from there are really great. And then the eighth hack and last hack is late night reading. Now this isn't really a hack, more so if you struggle to sleep. If you turn off all your devices and read for about an hour before bed then you are likely to get a better night's sleep because your eyes will get tired and you will fall asleep quicker. But yeah those are my eight reading hacks or bookish hacks if you will. If you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so much to infinity and beyond. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. My name is Waverly and now I'm off to read. Bye!